good morning to everybody this section we are calling as a practice this section we are going to test the relay in this section we are going to test one more currently the operating time of the work current relay for various fault current secondary fault current the relay is sitting is that that like that okay here you see generator is generating the power and uh, delivered to the more um, transformer and uh, it is given to the protection uh, uh, load through your bus bar okay generator is having generator protection a special function of the generator protection is feed failure and pole slipping other functions are that that is common to all other functions also main uh, differential functions are like that lot of functions are there okay this field failure and pole slipping is only for generator protection only then second uh, second transform protection in transform protection second harmonic restrain if you charge any transformer it will take high current initially this high current consists uh, contains more second harmonic component compared to your fundamental current fundamental current rate of current uh, fundamental current okay so this harmonic will operate your relay allow the relay to operate during charging of the transformer to avoid the tripping of the transformer during charging they take the second harmonic to block the operation of the relay that is called the second harmonic restraint next is bus bar protection any fault in the bus immediately all the breakers will trip in the that the bus bar protection will operate and give the commands to all the breaker here all the lbb local breaker failure will command commands will come to our bus bar protection this bus bar protection will trip all the breakers in the connected to that bus for example one feeder is there fault is there feeder protection is operator or distance protection is operator immediately that uh, command will come to the breaker breaker should trip so due to some problem breaker is not open what will happen the fault current was fed through all other sources all other sources all the feeders connected to the bus so now you have to trip the bus all the breakers connected to the bus so the lbb will of uh, protection will give the command to the bus bar protection this bus bar protection will give the commands to all the breaker connected to the bus only next is distance protection directional over current protection for long line and other things distance protection or directional over current protection is applied directional over current protection means one uh, any fault in one forward direction it will operate if the fault is in the reverse direction it will not operate now our thing is over current protection they only connected to the load we are going to test it over current protection in our case this is connected to the motor load is motor motor protection means thermal is important that next is standard inverse over current relay english electric make cdg relay now i am showing here one relay which is here bottom you are seeing that is called plex plex setting you see the various settings are there 0.5 0.75 1 1.25 any one of the setting you have to choose here plex setting means that current setting rate of current is 1 ampere means 1 means 1 ampere is like that now here plug setting in the top we are calling this is a time multiplier scale this scale is 0.1 0.2 0.3 0.2 up 0.91 like that will be that any this scale should be set at any value from 0.1 to 1 0.0 0.6 or 0.8 0.9 like that that depends upon your grading that setting will be set in the relay so plug setting and tms time multiplier setting is a set for is used for over current relay in the over current relay if you see here how that is connected in the switch yard cts are there depends upon the ratio the primary current 
converted to secondary current will that will be connected ct is connected to your relay ct is our mounted in the yard the relay is placed in the control room so they relay the cable from yard to control room this ct secondary are connected to the relay okay for example 1000 bar 1 ct ratio you are using means eh? the current is uh, 500 ampere pass means 0.5 ampere will flow into the relay okay so if any fault comes eh, that fault current secondary current will flow into the relay the early days they used uh, three independent uh, over current relay one earth fault relay or two independent uh, over current relay and one earth fault relay so four relays or three relays they will used uh, separate separate relays so for any fault earth fault or phase fault this combinations uh, will operate depends upon the setting and the time multiplier setting okay so once operated means uh, the conduits 1 and 2 3 and 4 1 and 2 is used for annunciation 3 and 4 is given to the tipping relay once the relay is operated 3 and 4 is closed uh, the command will go to the tipping relay tipping command will go to the breaker and it will trip the breaker and the relay will reset this is the this is the principle this is used in the over current relay protection okay now we are having a numerical relay that will be separately same pattern but one relay is only one relay used for all the functions like that okay operating time of the relay is is the current setting or plug setting in the relay TMS time multiplication setting that is that is time multiplication. These two settings we have to set it in the relay for over current relay protection. The operating time of the over current relay is equal to 0.14 whole divided by I by IS whole power 0.02 minus 1 into TMS. If so, TMS is equal to 1. The operating time is equal to 0 0.14 whole divided by I by I S whole power 0 0.02 or 1. What is I by I S? How many times of your current setting the current is flowing? That is called I S. I by I S. Suppose the setting is 1 ampere, the fault the second thing is fault current is 10 ampere. 10 times of the current will flow into the relay. If the setting is 0 0.5 ampere, if the fault current is 10 ampere, the 20 times of the fault current is flowing. So the here I by IS means how many times of their setting fault current is flowing. How many times of the setting is flowing like that. Okay, this is used in the grading. Okay, and then TMS tunneling multilinear square. As I told you earlier in the CDG relay, point one, point two, up to one. Okay, suppose if the TMS is equal to point five. What are the operating time we are getting for TMS equal to 1 into 0.5? For example, if we take setting is 1 ampere, fault current is 10 ampere, time multiplier scale is 0.5. For TMS equal to 1, this operating time of the relay is 3 seconds. That is, for 10 times of the fault current, the operating time is equal to 3 seconds. If the time multiplier setting is 0.5, so 3 into 0 0.5, 1 1.5 seconds. Why do you need this uh, gray, uh, difference in uh, using the TMS? That is called grading. Grading is a different topic that we cannot take now. Just I uh, am giving the example for the grading, how it is used in this system. Okay. In the case, you take this, uh, you see in this figure, 150 volt is the source and the first feeder is 7.5 ohms, second feeder is 2.5, third feeder is 5 ohms. So, if any fault comes in after the, at point C, this 150 volt is connected to the 7.5, 2.5, So 15 ohms resistance. So 150 by 15 is equal to 10 ampere. Will blow here. For easy calculation and other things, we are putting 
IS for R1, IS equal to 1 ampere, TMS equal to 1, CT ratio 1 bar 1. For R2 relay, IS equal to 1, TMS equal to 0 0.75, CTR 1 by 1. IS is for R3 relay, IS equal to 1 ampere, TMS equal to 0.5, CTR equal to 1 by 1. So, whatever the fault current, the same current value will flow in the relay. Okay. Now, if it early days, first they use a fuse as the protection for the system. Okay. What is the problem in the fuse? Means you have to replace the fuse whenever the fault comes, you have to replace, replace the It is not economical. So, they for introduce a system, breaker, isolator and relay. The relay detect the fault and give the commands to the breaker, breaker will open. Okay. So, relay will, how it is give the command, when it will give the command? So first, they introduce instantaneous over current relay only. For example, in our case, assume this over a definite time, over current IDMT relay is not used, instantaneous current relay. So, first relay setting is 1 ampere, second relay is 1 ampere, third is 1 ampere. If you fault at C, R1, R2, R3 will keep at a time. Give the breaker. So, supply to in the first feeder, second feeder also tripped. Either fault is in the third feeder. Fault at C. It is not suitable for our electrical system. So, they introduced one definite time. Once the current is exceeded, it will wait for a certain time duration, then it will give the tripping command like that. That is called definite time. Okay. Assume here, oh, first relay 5 seconds, second relay 3 seconds, fourth, uh, third R1 is 5 seconds, R2 is 3 seconds, R3 is 1 seconds. If a fault at C, what will happen? R3 will trip after 1 second only. If the breaker is not tripped, R2 will trip after long time. So, in this, during this time, the damage, the conductor will burn or something will damage will be more. Now, they are going for IDMT relay. That is inverse definite minimum time. That is, uh, depends upon the fault current, the operating time will vary. If the low fault current, operating time will be high. If the high fault current operating time is less. For example, if, the, if you substitute in the formula TMS equal to 1, 10 times of the fault current is a 3 seconds, 2 times of the fault current is a 10 seconds. If you substitute, you can see that one. Okay. Uh, now, in this case, now we adopted IS 1 ampere, TMS, CTR, like that. For fault current, a fault at C, 10 ampere is passing in R1, R2, R3. So, first, uh, if you take, if you, if you see the operating time of each relay, R1 is equal to 2.9 seconds, R2 is equal to 2.27 seconds, R3 is equal to 1.48 seconds. So, first, the R3 will operate for a fault at C and give you a tripping command. Okay. Now, next is a fault at B. Fault at B means uh, the fault current will not flow to the C, R3. Okay. So, the fault current is, a uh, fault at B, the fault current is 15 ampere. This 15 ampere will flow in R1 and R2. The operating time for R1 is 2.51 seconds, R2 is equal to 1.886 seconds. R1 operating time is more compared to R2. So, first the R2 will operate and give the tripping command to the breaker. Okay. If the breaker is not opened, after the 2.51 seconds, R1 will trip. This current, this tripping time depends upon the fault current. If the fault current is more, this timing will be reduced. If the fault current is less, the timing will be increased. So, each relay is having, is setting TMS, IS, fault current, Okay. Now, fault at A, fault current is 20 ampere, operating time is equal to 2.28 seconds. Very shortly, it will operate 2.28 seconds. It will operate and trip the command. Here, only model only, exact other things, you have to calculate and do that one. Depends upon the VA rating and other things. That the portion is different.
now we go to relay testing part earlier we have seen three places three relays are there this three relay settings are different we don't know what is a fault current and and the operating time if the source is very strong fault current is be more if the source is very weak fault current is less so we cannot say okay this time we operating time for this fault uh, current this fault current like that we cannot repeat it so standard uh, we are doing the testing at 10 times of this for uh, 10 times uh, and two times this is the main thing uh, 20 times also the people will do it now setup we i explained about the setup this is a 230 volt area the car that will be connected to the resistor that is connected to the ammeter then ct the ct secondary is connected to the relay terminal that is 9 and 10 okay the ct is connected to the neutral via dpst switch the dpst switch means a double pole single throw one conduit is directly current connection another conduit is connected to the electronic timer in this timer how it is working means once the start conduit is closed the timer is started once that stop conduit is closed the timer is stopped then you can reset if we repeat it start conduit closed timer starting start timer closed timer stopped you miss other time like that now in here the basic thing is highest setting is 1 ampere tms circuit to 1 okay this is setting we are going to set it in the relay okay now we set the current 10 ampere in the relay okay so suppose ct ratio is 5 bar 50 means say uh, if you apply 1 ampere 10 ampere will flow okay so if i set the 1 ampere in the ammeter 10 ampere will flow in the relay okay when so you closed it uh, the current will flow under start uh, the timer started on the relay operator means it is stopped okay now first what we will do we we'll set the current how you set the current you close the uh, dpst switch and vary the variac and set the current for 1 ampere the ct ratio is 5 bar 0.5 that is only to 10 so 10 1 ampere passed in the uh, circuit the 10 ampere will passed in the relay okay open that one and reset the other thing okay now we close the dpst switch 10 ampere is passing the car relay will operate after the time delay and stop the timer you record it this operating theoretical operating time is 2.92 second plus or minus 5% tolerance that is the tolerance will be given by the manufacturer of the relay okay so you repeat the test for the four times four or five take the average of that value that is called actual operating time for 10 times of the settings for tms equal to 1 If the TMS setting is 0.5 or 0.75, you multiply this timing and you get the oper theoretical operating time. That time is plus or minus 5 percent. Okay. Now second uh, set uh, two ampere. You apply two setting. Two ampere means uh, two of uh, two times of the settings. You get the 10.029 seconds. Okay. Now. This is uh, for TMS circuit to one. If suppose TMS circuit to point five, same connected ten ampere. If you pass operating time is one point four eight five seconds. Two ampere is passed. Uh, operating time is point one five seconds. Zero point one five seconds. Now you are going to test the relay by seeing this way. Any clarification? Now you can ask me. Then we are going to test the relay now itself. CES setting, the how we connect and the things. This is for electromagnetic relays. Here we connect at the numeric relay. Numeric relay is giving a lot of advantage compared to electromagnetic relays. But function wise, both are same function only.